Will it run? We have, show you here, we have a Craftsman 6.75 Briggs and Stratton motor. Bought this last year. Now, did notice last year when I was cutting the grass a couple times, I'd get about five minutes in, it would, it would die on me. Let it sit for a minute, start it up, away it go. So far this year, it's been fine. Some will say, well, she'll say, I will do anything to get out of cutting the grass. Maybe true, but I don't want to break the lawnmower because it means I gotta buy a new one. We're gonna tear into this thing and try and figure out why. It only wants to run after pushing the primer button. Now, a couple things can be wrong here. Could be something in the carburetor, which is above my pay grade, but I'm not scared. I'll tear, I'll tear it down. We'll see what happens there. <laughs> End up buying a new lawnmower anyways. Or, the gas cap not venting properly. Now, I'm going to be honest. I watched a couple of videos on this very lawnmower here. If the gas cap is messed up and not venting properly, it won't allow proper flow of the fuel from the tank to the carburetor. Also, on the back of the carburetor where it meets the intake manifold, there's an O-ring. If that O-ring is shot, it's letting too much air in and the air to fuel ratio is off. I'm hoping it's a gas cap, but we're about to find out. All right, guys, let's get started. If it's too windy, I apologize, but much I can do about that. First thing we're gonna do is we're gonna take this cover off the air filter, an eight millimeter bolt. That sits on a hinge. That does not look very good. Obviously, we gotta replace the air filter. The other thing we want to do, pull this top cover off. That gives us access to get the to get the filter plate off. We have a total of three of those. Well, vent tube on the back wasn't hooked up. Real dirty. What we're hoping for is that it's the fuel filter and nothing else. Everything else seems tight. Nothing's loose back in there, no the screws are loose. What better way to catch the gas than with a Craftsman on a Craftsman? Okay, if it work. What we're gonna do here is we're gonna take this off. fuel is running freely which means the gas cap is not the problem I'll show you what I mean here so if it's not venting properly on the gas cap you see the fuel coming out freely see how it stops Which 
means my hope of it being the gas cap, it's not the gas cap. Would have been an easy fix. You just go buy 10 or 10 or 12 bucks and get you another gas cap and away you go. Let's not keep it fuel, which means there's, I'm guessing that there's more air getting in. So I'm going to take the carburetor off. I'm going to check the O-ring behind it and see what that did. See what's that going on there. I don't have a golf tee to plug this fuel line up here. But I do have a wooden dowel. Get that in there. All right. Get that out of the way. Now I'm going to take the carburetor off. So we're going to take the two carburetor bolts out now. Those are going to be the... And those are going to be 10 millimeter. Looks like the o-ring in the back is still good all right so we got the carburetor off looks fairly clean inside holding the bowl on the bottom is one one bolt i'm gonna go take that off and see what it looks like inside there bottom that holds the bowl on is 13 millimeter Try and get that off without losing all the gas. Okay, that's a small little bolt that holds the bowl on. Give it a little twist, it separates the two. What we are looking for is, wow. They wonder it's not running. All right, guys, if we look in there, all kinds of little particles going around, a little bit of rust in the bottom of that. I'm guessing that's why it didn't want to run. Just all kinds of crud in here. I got off I'm gonna hit this with some brake clean and get it all cleaned up yeah, that's terrible looks like the injectors all right there's just a bunch of dirt in the bottom of this thing so get that back on there
All right, I'm gonna take this in the shed, roll it off as a brake clean. I'm gonna cover up the ports so now the dirt gets in there and see if we can make it work. All right, we got our brand new carburetor done. Well, nothing a little bit of uh, gum motor brake clean won't fix. We're gonna put this back together now. The other thing we're gonna do is we're gonna clean that air filter. Carburetor's back on. That looks bad. Real bad. We don't have another one. I'll be right back. Alright, I know it don't look like it, but I blowed that clean. Blowed that clean. Never mind. Let me clean some of the grease off it here. Obviously, I need to get a new one. Don't have one. But I also need to get the grass cut before the storm comes, so... Moving along here. All right. Crud in here. Jesus. That's a mess. Clean it up a little bit. Just kind of keep some of the stuff out of it. Don't worry about covering that carburetor with all this crud floating around. It won't get in there. We're not trying to win a beauty contest here, guys. We're just trying to... Get the lawnmower to work. And when you do scrape this off, make sure this is underneath it. <laughs> dummy. You big dummy. Alright. Try to get this back together. Alright guys, it's been about 20 minutes carburetor off cleaned it up a little bit there's some crud in the bottom of the bowl cleaned that out check the gas cap that wasn't it the gas line is flowing fuel so that's okay I'm hoping it was a crud in the bottom I did check the did check the jets they were clean Hopefully it was just the dirt in the bottom of the bowl anyway let's go fire this thing up and see if it wants to run carboned up here. I'm going to clean the plug and put it back in see if it makes a difference. Alright, we got it cleaned up. Now, I don't think this can make much of a difference, but much like me, you're going to find out as well. be to be continued all right so tell me if you guys can relate i got problems with my lawnmower go on the youtube start punching in you know the lawnmower will run but immediately stall uh won't stay running blah 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 first six videos come up are my lawnmower i'm thinking okay that's good that's bad Let's see what i got to say first one it's a gas cap issue i'm thinking yes 12 dollar fix not a big deal you know i would have never bought one i would have just drilled the hole on top of that one and then you know there it's vented second one was carburetor dirty I'm like okay well i did have a dirty carburetor it didn't come out right the carburetor was dirty so i fixed that the other one was there was an o-ring on the back of the carburetor where it attached to the intake that was still good 
multi-part video it still don't run all right guys it's obviously the next day the one thing that i didn't do i don't think you can see it but on the bottom of the bowl there that's the bolt that holds the bowl on in there is the injectors now i thought i cleaned the injectors i don't think i did i thought but i don't think i did anyway i had to put this away last night because we got downpoured i mean we got a ton of rain last night have a look at this this is what we got Got all that water it's because the drain is plugged up so we got downpoured last night and it rained 25 millimeters they said overnight and we're expecting a little bit more this morning but i want to try and get this done unless so we can cut the grass just so i don't have it sitting here half done so i got to pull that bolt back out because if you remember the crud that was in the bottom of the bowl it's probably getting into the holes that's the injector and plugging it up at least that's what we're hoping I'm going to try not to dump gas all over the place. I don't know if you see it, but right in there, a small hole. Hopefully you can see that. That small hole, that's the injector. There's one on both sides. And the fuel comes up the middle. So i got to find something small to try and clean that out with. So I stuck a small piece of wire through these holes here. Come right out the other side. So this is clean and I took some brake clean sprayed it down the center hole and it came out both holes on the bottom so we're clean there put this back together and see if that's our problem let's see if this fixed our problem guys I did not check that bolt my fault it would have been a whole lot easier to do when I had it off those are just a couple of things you can check when your lawnmower will start then stall start then stall it starts after you prime it all the time that's only because there's gas being pushed up into the carburetor I only cleaned that yesterday but the fact that I didn't clean it yesterday actually saved me from cutting the grass yesterday but i gotta do it today if the weather holds out i hope you all learned something from that a few different things to check save myself a hefty repair bill that's for sure because y'all know i'm cheap anyway i gotta get some grass to cut if it dries up and i'll see you all in the next one later it could be a two b it could be a two b continued Could be a 2B.